Welcome to a brand new survival series where we are playing primarily with the create mod and only a few quality of life mods to keep things nice but as close to vanilla as possible. In this series we'll be building machines, contraptions, get confused, learn and most importantly have fun. In this episode I get the basics sorted, go for a big mining trip, build my starter area, set up the power that will run this base, set up some basic machinery and last but not least making my very first automated farm in create. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to this absolutely beautiful view. I love it. And of course welcome to this brand new series where we are going to be playing with create. Oh and oh we actually spawned on the top of the roof here. Oh man this is beautiful. The dawn of a new era time series something. It's actually the dawn of a lot of stuff I guess. Anyways I should probably get down here since I'm not uh, actually going to chop down an entire one of these trees. Where's it? There we go. This is the nearest tree. Anyway while I'm getting some of the basics out of the way let me introduce to you some of the bots that we're actually rolling with here. Firstly we of course have create as it really wouldn't be a, ser a create series without it. I was considering adding some of the add-ons that is out there however I feel like we're just going to start with create itself and then add stuff as we see fit. Other than create I've kept it fairly vanilla with only a few extra bots such as functional storage for drawers, chipped for some extra building blocks and I mean literally uh, <laughs> just a couple of extra. I mean this page de this definitely is a 91 pages long. Uh, definitely I don't know what you're this 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 is not 91 page. I nope nope. This this is just a couple. Okay, just a couple. <laughs> I also added pretty much all of Young's better mods just to spice up some of the vanilla stuff. We are also running with Zero's world map and minimap is also installed however I don't have it enabled as I don't really like walking around with the minimap enabled for this. Also there are no terrain mod. The terrain is completely vanilla generated. I didn't really feel like any of the stuff that I saw really fitted in. Plus I wanted to stick with the vanilla feel. But there we go. That is my wooden pickaxe and I'm not going to do anything anything else until I actually go ahead and get some stone for some stone tools. Anyway that's the pack if you are interested in playing with the exact same mods there is a link to the mod pack in the description and it is hosted on mod Renth. Now with that done and uh, a wooden pickaxe sorted I need to get some stone from somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's interesting. That actually seems like to be... Okay, we do have some stone over here, but that is further away. This is closer. We also have something in the jungle, but going through the jungle is a pain. This is just a jump, swim, skip, and a run away. Literally. Also, the water is absolutely beautiful with the rays going through. I love that so much. Also, if you were curious, the shaders we're using are complementary unbound. Oh, I see a big hole. Hey, yep, this is... Oh wow. Oh, this is big. Uh, yep, we're definitely going down. Okay. Oh the oh wow. Oh gold. Okay, yep, we're we're going down here. <laughs> We're going down there and tough as well and deep slate. Oh, yep, yep, yep. This is the place to be. Stone Age. Wait. Oh, I love that. How the sun just comes down like that. That's awesome. Oh, and there's a skeleton over there. That not not so awesome. Yeah, please please burn up. That would be that would be great. I don't have a weapon yet, so if you could just like go back to the shadows. That that no, go away, go away. Please just okay. That works too. I mean, he could have just backed off, but he. Oh no, you don't sleep do, or burn. Oh, you do burn. Okay, awesome. Just ow. Oh, okay, you had to do it. You had to do it. Please, this is not this is not the start I had in mind. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. This is okay. I forgot to bring food. <laughs> Yeah, oh, why? And there's an end, uh, and I don't have, yeah, I forgot to bring food with me. This is not, okay, bail. Um, that, that, I'm not ready yet. We're going to run, jump, swim, and a skip over to the jungle to try and find some melons. I think that's going to be my best food source for right now, considering I don't have any more flesh. Or if we could find some in the sparse jungle would also work, I suppose. Before I do that, though, I'm just going to quickly upgrade all my tools. Or all my tools. I'm going to make all the tools. I don't really have anything to upgrade. But there we go. That is that sorted. Yeah, if I could find some melons right here, that would be great. However, I don't see any. I mean, there are plenty of animals around if I don't find any. But finding melon for now. Oh, wait, I saw it. Yep, hello. Oh, this is a big patch as well. Okay, we're getting all of this and then we're heading back in that cave. But yes, this is the first episode of the series. How did that run flesh? I'm not gonna ask questions. 
Jones. But yes, this is the first episode of the series. The sun is going down. Not going to be a problem though, because we're going to be down here where it's nice and cozy. Right next to the water, uh, lava anyway. But yes, today I'm hoping to get situated, get some resources gathered now, set up a starter area and be setting... Oh, you're still here. Setting up some create stuff that's actually going to power it. Maybe some basic machine and machines and also we will be setting up our very first oh, okay that was that was close our very first automated uh generator so that should be interesting just like how this video is going so far also i'm definitely gonna grab all this iron need the coal as well what is this calcite i'm pretty sure yep calcite what are you asherine okay deep slate tough definitely want that i think i saw and the side that sink definitely need that as well so yep and the side over there and we have more tough and whatever that green stuff is and a lot of stuff down here oh wow a lot of stuff to do oh i can't actually mine this unless i have an iron pickaxe okay well i'm going to grab this piece of coal real quick and add that to my offhand so we can actually see what we're doing what is over here then okay that's um that's oh that's a skeleton that i don't want to i don't want to go down there right now but that's wow that's deep okay well um initiate mining session i guess I don't I actually don't even know where to where to begin. I guess getting an iron pickaxe is going to be ideal. Uh -huh. And it expands all the way to this side as well. Oh, that's a lot of copper. And uh, to be honest, iron and gold as well. Uh, but it is a dead end. I'm probably I'm, I'm not going to be mining everything. I'm going to probably be leaving this side here. I really want to go down the other side. Maybe we can get some redstone as well. There we go. That is our first iron. Acquire hardware. And we can go ahead and do this. And boom, we have an iron pickaxe. I will be grabbing, I think, the andesite on the way out. Because I probably want like two or three stacks of that same with the tough probably like a stack or two so i think i actually really want to head around here and see what we got Ooh, sink perfect yep now we can actually get it so the sink is from a create and it will allow us to create sink ingots which can then be used to make uh rose quartz lamps apparently but also specifically we can use it to also make brass and i know that the nuggets can also be used to make the andesite alloy just so we can actually save on the iron because the iron is used for a lot of other things as well that the sink isn't. Oh wow. Yeah, that, that's that's deep. Where does this lead to? Even more cave stuff. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to lose the main big cave that uh, potentially goes very far down. But I don't want to give up on this stuff either. Like gold and lapis right here. Oh, this literally just wraps around. Okay. You know what? We're going to find plenty of iron here. I, I'm not keeping the stone pickaxe. I don't care. No, nope, not happening. Happening. Also going to grab the copper now that we're here anyway, as that is also used to create brass. We're not going to be needing it right away, but it's going to be nice to have. Plus, it is actually used for multiple other things as well, like pipes and yeah, it, it stuff. So I'm not going to grab a lot of it, but maybe like a stack or two. And I guess Lapis might as well grab it while we're here. Oh yeah, I should mention, by the way, we're playing in Minecraft 121, so armor trims are a thing. That's cool. Right, I'm just going to do a bunch of mining. If something really interesting happens, I'll be back. But until then, you will enjoy a mining montage so oh that's deep slate already ooh, ooh, ooh. yeah because if, if i keep going like this you will hear me say ooh every time i turn a corner so ooh, we found redstone that's really good i really want redstone that's nice oh wow wait is that oh mine sh oh mine shaft stuff okay that wasn't much of a montage you got there um hmm oh that literally opened up to two lapis okay well then this is huge Ow, not cool. Okay, so I have been doing some mining. We found the mine shaft over there, of course, but I have explored further in this area. And as you can see, by the way, we are over a one stack of iron in, almost half a stack of zinc, quite a bit of dust and also lapis lazuli, but it gets better. First of all, there's this giant hole here leading further down. But not only that, if we continue on over in this direction, that's some zinc I have, I have missed, by the way. But if we just clear the path real quick, if you don't explode, thank you, and you have a path. Okay. 
Okay, you know what? That actually helped me. There we go. Nice. But yeah, uh, that it goes on even further in this direction. I haven't actually seen all the way over here. That's some more sink. Uh, that's some more redstone and gold up there. And more lava, more iron. Like this place is actually huge. And yeah, like I said, we have over a stack of iron. And there's actually another room up there. Probably not very significant. I did see some redstone though, which I might want. But I've been smelting some of this iron so that I could go ahead and get myself a full set of iron armor also so I can get myself a shield because that just makes it so that I feel a lot safer and so that I can make a spare iron pickaxe and I'm just gonna keep going I mean the longer I go the longer of a montage you have and I will have to struggle to find some music that fits but that is going to be a later me problem enjoy <laughs> Okay then, and we just found diamonds. <laughs> And that marks the end of uh, the mining montage. I, I've been down here a while, actually. Uh, <laughs> it's taken a bit to get here. There are a lot of ores. Well, you guys know exactly where to go to if you're using this seed. Because there is everything you could possibly wish for right here in this cave. I don't actually think I'm going to continue much further. Getting these blocks probably is going to break my current iron pickaxe. And that means I will get to my second iron pickaxe. And at that point... I'm probably going to head back, grab a stack or two of andesite, and then probably head back up. Because despite me wanting to... Yep, that goes. Because despite me wanting to continue mining and mining and mining, we have a starter place to set up. And I need to gather a couple of resources for that as well, so can't spend all the time down here, even though I really want to. And there is a lot of andesite right here, which I might actually just grab. I mean, look at this stuff here. This is so much stuff. And don't worry, I'm not forgetting about the diamonds i'm just impatient and keep mo keep moving forward a little bit even though i shouldn't i also love how the ores like shine a little bit with these shaders that is so cool also makes it way easier to spot stuff okay i don't think i'm actually going to go ahead and get that gravel i'm getting to the point where i'm like okay i think i'm done now but then again it is i i can't stop i, can't, I just can't stop someone stop me and i haven't even been down that big hole that we saw earlier oh then lots of redstone here okay Okay, and I see another big area over there with a skeleton and a creeper. That's not ideal. It's just so exciting. Like, I feel like I have to keep going. That's over two stacks of redstone. I feel like I have to keep going to see what's actually next. Okay, final look at what we got here. That's some lapis. I'll grab that. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. This place is... Yeah. Oh, and that's probably the mine chef we saw earlier. And that, I believe, is a geode. Very good to know. Um, I will be back. <laughs> <laughs> I will be back when I need some of the stuff. Any diamonds down there? I don't think so. Right, yes. I will be back for this place because it is absolutely huge and cool and I want to stay here, but I, we got work to do. All right, let's see how many diamonds we get from this. I don't have fortune, of course, so that's going to be one and two. And I think that that is it. Yep, two diamonds. I'm not going to complain. Those are very useful. So overall, this journey has been pretty good. I'm going to get two stacks of this now. And then we will be heading out. This cave doesn't want me gone. It's like, keep just, just uh, here, here. If I even have to place the ore in front of you, take it. Oh, oh wait, I, ju I didn't even realize. I was sitting in my own thoughts. Scoria. Ooh, and that, oh, those are pretty. Uh, how can I, yeah. Oopsie, I have two more slots in my inventory. That's, hmm, I wonder what that's going to be used for. And I think I'm going to cut it uh, there. A stack of that and and then two and a half stack of the andesite, just extra stuff, yep. I think I am happy with this. It is time to reconnect with the surface. Maybe if you guys want, we could do a live stream where we just go through this entire cave system and just completely go through this because, uh, well, there's cool stuff here that I want to explore. I mean, the cave even goes on in that direction too. Yeah, if you guys want to see a live stream of me going down here and just do some mining, let me know down below in the comments. Yep, there is the surface. Oh yes, and it is daytime. Ah, oh, lovely sunlight. Don't need to shield up anymore. Ah, oh, this is amazing. Uh, yep, I have coal. I could just literally get out of here. This is a 
amazing cave. In fact, I'm going to literally call it that by creating a waypoint. Amazing cave and it is getting gold. Five out of five stars. Ooh, hold up. There is a ruined portal over there. Uh, yeah, sure, I'm gonna check it out just real quick. Aha, uh -huh. and it is starting a forest fire. <laughs> Not good. Well, to be fair, it can't spread much, so it's fine. Ow. And we have a block of gold. I guess I'll go ahead and grab it. Why not? Nope, bad lava. Anything in here of use? A uh, plot, maybe? Oh, we have a dark oak forest over here as well. That's cool. I mean, to be fair, it's very cool to have that cave. But in the future, hopefully anyway, we will not be needing to do much manual mining. Because uh, we have create. And with create, we can create contraptions that can do that stuff for us. See what I did there? Create with create. Did get it? Pun intended. Eh, anyway, crossing this wonderful and beautiful bridge. A little bit hazardous, <laughs> might I add. Um, should probably put up some signs. Watch your step. But you know, other than that, it's it's good. I actually really, really do love this biome right here, the sparse jungle. Mainly because it is not so jungly like over there. There's not that many trees, and the grass is just so saturated compared uh, compared to the normal uh, plains biome. Okay, this is actually not too bad. Yeah, see what I mean? That's the normal plains biome, which actually that's sheep. Okay, I need to get to mine so I can get some shears, but that's the normal plains biome. Green, but then you look at this and this is green. That seems desaturated. Oh, and looks like we have some savanna over here next to the plains biome. And it looks to be decently flat as well. Yeah, it is. And a shipwreck. Oh, nice. Not gonna check that out now though, because I don't have that much inventory space. Right, you know what? This area right here, since I love the saturated grass. It is not too hilly of, ter of a terrain. I don't really want to build with like this stuff here, but this is pretty centered. We have the, the actual jungle over here. Then we have forest area, extremely flat savanna, close to a sand supply for grass, gr grass glass, close to a roofed forest as well. And this awesome cave over here as well. And it's okay. This is actually a desert. And I think that's a desert village right there. That looks like a house to me unless it's a well. So right here we're actually pretty close to everything almost yeah we're gonna settle down here so i need to turn 180 degrees and head back this way and i think that i want to settle right here we just need to push the dirt back a little bit chop down some of these trees and then i have uh, the plans for our start area i'm just gonna plop my stuff down right in the middle here probably gonna regret that later go ahead and make a double chest for all this stuff yeah very nice to get rid of that nice Okay, get that. Smelt some of this iron so we can get some shears so I can make a bed so that I'm not going to die in the near future. And then I need to gather up some materials for us to make uh, this a startup base. First, hello sheep. Please give me like two or three. Uh, that's two. Okay, please just give me one. I don't know. Okay, you, I, I did just ask for one, but fine. And uh, there we go. Go ahead, do this and boom. Bed has been made. Nice. And I'm going to grab these iron right here go ahead and grab some wood and then we're going to upgrade to an iron axe because i'm going to be needing to chop down quite a lot of wood for this next part not so much these trees i mean i do need to chop those down as well but i don't need the jungle trees i need oak trees for this design but yeah let's quickly clear out this area so we can see what area we're actually working with here there we go trees has been removed the relevant ones anyway they can now decompose while we go ahead and chop a lot of trees over here in this forest area because I need oh so enjoy another montage this is very close up I do apologize but let's go All right, there we go. That is three stacks of oak logs plus one extra. Hopefully that is going to be enough for what we're going to be making over here. I will actually be needing these shears for the next part and I will be needing another piece of coal to smelt down this cobblestone into stone because I am going to be needing a stone cutter, which I can't exactly. Yep, that's the recipe. Pretty easy. And the trees has also gone away. That is great. Also going to go ahead and make an iron shovel because I will be 
needing it. And I'm going to be needing some leaves and I guess these spots right here where we just have one jungle log that is going to work perfectly. And with the three stone, we go ahead and make a stone cutter. And I think that this is enough. One and a half stack ish of leaves should be fine. I hope. All right. It is now morning. I have started doing a little bit of terraforming and digging out here because this is where we are going to be a place. This is 11 wide and that is all you get to know for now. But I'm going to get started building here, enjoy the lovely rainbow as I eat some melon, and then we are going to get started building this thing. I am really looking forward to seeing how this is going to look when it's done. So without any further ado, I will continue digging. You know what? I'm actually really happy with this. If you couldn't get it by now, I really, really love being in the open and also just building simple like this. Also, now we can sleep. So this is a base. This is going to be the main floor. Over here, we're going to have our basic create machinery like mixers, presses, etc. And then over here, this is going to be where we actually generate all of our power. And also next to it is going to be our uh, hopefully automated machine, which we're going to be setting up today. And the way we are going to actually be powering our base is going to be through water wheels. So we need to go ahead and actually make like, let's make three of them so that's going to be six planks like this and then to make them we actually uh, we actually need to go ahead and make some shafts and to make the shafts we need andesite alloy and to make that we need the andesite and iron nuggets or sink nuggets which i'm very very thankful for i'm just gonna grab literally a stack of andesite go like this and of course need to turn them into nuggets first that's a lot of nuggets and boom andesite alloy and kaching two stacks of shaft that is going to be good enough for now hopefully then we can go ahead and say hey we need water wheels and that was only three that's one two and three more boom that is six water we i made too many we don't oh dear that's yeah that that's that's a lot of water wheels. Um, let's stick those in there for now. <laughs> Whoopsie, that I forgot my own math for a second. Anyways, that is three large water wheels, which we're going to be plopping down right here. And the water is going to be located right here as well. I think that this is going to work if I just grab, actually not that one, if I grab a little bit of water there. Yep, that's actually going to make it flow. So we go ahead and add some more, just like that. I don't know why I placed it so high. Why would I do that? There we go. Ah, yeah, it's a bit, uh, bit low. I thought so. Well, let's help it along a little bit by raising it. Get some more water. Place that. Even more. And place that. Nice. And we can remove you now. And then I would place a shaft, but we are not ready for that just yet because we are going to be needing some cogwheels. Specifically, we are going to be needing, I think, three of these and then three of these big ones right here. Because right now this thing is running pretty slow and I want to speed that up by putting a large cogwheel and then a small cogwheel. And that, as you can see, the small one is actually going a lot faster or maybe not a lot, but almost twice as fast, I think, if not exactly twice as fast as the big one. Next, I'm going to be needing to strip all of these wood right here. And I believe I need a more andesite alloy, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and get some more of that because we then need to convert these strip logs into, uh, what are these called again? I forget the name, andesite casings. That's because then we can make this one like that. So we can actually place another cogwheel on that. So do that. Now that is now this big cogwheel is now spinning at the speed of the small one, which then the big one combined with the small one makes the small one go even faster than that small one. I hope that that makes sense, but I'm going to do that three times in total, just like that. And I think and I'm, I'm going to do it once more. I can actually make these cogwheels from my actual inventory. I just realized because it's <laughs> not requiring that much space. And uh, boom, not bad. Actually, I need to think, you know what? Uh, this is really a 
annoying, but I'm going to need to push that one further back, including this water wheel. So I just need to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this. Well, oops, my microphone accidentally muted for this part of the video. So future editing me here for the rescue. So I managed to move the water wheel back a block so that I can actually fit the gearbox that I wanted to have at the front. I want that there so it's easier to distribute the rotational force around the base. In fact, that is what I did next. I wanted to get goggles and a wrench, so I needed a press. This is the first equipment added to the base. So I made the press and the depot that goes under it and then dug under the floor to lead the rotational force to the machine itself. And just like that, we have a press. Now I can go ahead and make some golden sheets which I can then turn into a wrench, which is really useful at, for example, turning blocks and instantly remove a create component. And the goggles are useful at looking at machine information, which to help with that, I made a speedometer and a stressometer so we can keep an eye on our system, which I added next to the gearbox. And as you can see, they're working right here. So now you're pretty much caught up. So that's it from future me back to past me. F the present you for you, but f you get the point. A future future me. Keep an eye on your microphone next time, buddy. All right, let's get back to it. <laughs> All right, well, my microphone was muted, so I don't know how much uh, was seen last. However, we now have the mixer that is being connected uh, through uh, the cogwheel right there, which is connected to the same network as this, and it is using 256 SU. So now you can see our remaining SU is actually going lower. To increase this, we would need to add more water wheels or any other thing of rotational force and then lead it into this uh, central piece of the puzzle right here. Next, we're going to be making the millstone. I don't know if I showed the recipe for the mixer, but it is basically this with a whisk made out of this right here. And believe it or not, the mixing can actually go ahead and make the alloy. And in general, the mixer can be used to automate potion brewing, for example, which is really cool. I want to do that. And any shapeless crafting that you can think of, it can do for you as well, which is really cool for automation. And mixing stuff is really cool as well. You can make builder's tea, mud, chocolate, honey, uh, brass, which is going to be really important later on. However, it is using a blaze burner. We'll get into that later. Uh, and other stuff as well, which is really cool. The next thing I want to make is the millstone, which can crush down things pretty cool. So again, all I need to do really is to dig this away. Uh, dig a, yep, I keep digging too much away. So just add a shaft and a vertical gearbox, just like so, ching, and then a shaft, put a casing in that and cogwheel, just like that. But these are the basic machineries. I'm going to add a, another one there, but that's going to be in the next episode because now I want to go ahead and do something else. We're going to be setting up an automated cobblestone generator. And no, it's not one that I have to stand and mine that. It's one that runs completely automatically. Now, I don't actually have that many tough blocks remaining, which could be a bit of an issue, but I think we'll be all right. I'm going to be needing the, the pillar version of this just to make things look nice. Now, for us to do this, I'm also going to be needing a mechanical drill, which is this recipe, pretty cheap. And uh, this part of the base essentially is not going to be able to be made out of wood, I don't think, um, because I think things will get caught on fire. So this part of the base will be reinforced using some tough pillars, which actually doesn't look too bad. And then we need to place water here, make a hole here, place this underneath, then place a lava right here. And that means that this drill needs to be not facing that way. Actually, this is a perfect example of the wrench. Just do like that. Um, and I think lava is going to be here here. So probably gonna do something like this to keep it in. Wait, something's wrong. Oh, yeah, this has to be here. Turn around. Now that's gotta be there. So I'm going to move this over. Now I will be needing some oak trap doors. Hopefully they won't catch on fire. But we'll place them like this. Essentially move this torch. Uh, maybe we'll just do this one higher. Yeah, that's fine. Put trap door there. This will be fine because the water is going to meet here. Uh, for now, place this place lava. Um, that might be in trouble, but we'll place that there for now. Go ahead and quickly grab some water like that. And ooh, okay, place you there as a placeholder. Yeah, yeah, yes, I know that's not ideal. Place water there and removing this should make it 
so that we get, yep, cobblestone. And we're actually going to, um, yeah, we need to dig this out for now. We're going to be needing to get some double chest going. Place these there so we don't get any visible dirt. Place that like so, and we'll be mining this away, this away. And this part is going to be a bit expensive, and I don't really like doing it. But for now, it's going to be what we do. Unless I can quickly think of another way of doing this. Hold on. I need to test something. And for that, I need to go to the ocean. Yep, right here. Yeet. And just a couple should do just fine. Just pluck them from the bottom of the ocean. Swim up and grab a bunch of them. And there we go. 32 should do it. Now, I just quickly want to test this because this could be a thing that we can actually do. I just need this dried kelp to smelt up or cook up quicker so I can actually turn it into some belts. It's going to take a while. There we go. Now we can go ahead and make this belt and we can connect these two together. So I want to test if a block gets broken from like here. Yeah, it doesn't get get up only if it gets dropped directly towards the belt. Not even if it adds there, it actually has to reach that. Okay. What if, it, what if, it, what if this was to be broken, for example? Yeah, see, that's, that's what I was afraid of. See, that one got picked up, but sometimes they will bounce off like this. Yeah, no good. I think I've finally got it and the last thing that i need to do here is place a funnel leading into that chest so what's going to happen here we have one hopper leading into some conveyor belts which is leading towards that which then leads into the large chest and that's just going to save me a lot of iron and a lot of hoppers so if this gets broken the hopper definitely picks it up doesn't go in the lava or the water just goes like that and keeps going on to the belt all we need to do now is hook up this drill to a this chest or actually to uh, this right here and we oh dear we might actually be missing out on some uh i don't know how much the drill is actually going to use but we'll see i need to firstly figure out how to connect to this thing uh in a not ugly way which might not be doable i'm gonna do this probably quite ugly but it is what it is deal with it um yeah this might get up oh, no this could get ugly real quick but we will not talk about it. It will be fine as long as none of you talk about it. Not one comment and we'll all get through this. And one kind of gearbox like that. And it's running. And how much has you? Oh dear, 256. We have just enough to keep all of this stuff going. But it's done. We have a cobblestone automation done. It's, um, is it actually? I feel like we've compacted that pretty well. I think I still need to hook this up and probably like in case it completely i feel like otherwise i feel like the fire is going to continue to potentially be a problem so we'll do this and do that i really wanted to actually oh don't break that please i'll place that there yeah maybe just do that yeah the lava containment field and just to make it look a little bit prettier there we go nice depth but that is that, automated cobblestone right into this chest right here. We have dials where we can see everything. We clearly need to add some another way of getting uh, uh, stress units in here because we need more power. But we have the basics of the machinery stuff. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just because I can and it's cool to look at. Be it for this first episode. I hope it's not too long. I hope it was enjoyable and fun to watch. If you did enjoy the video, please do be sure to leave it a like. And if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing or if you are not new to the channel but have been watching a while lurking consider subscribing it greatly helps out the channel but anyways hope you enjoyed the video i'm very excited for the series and i have plenty of things and ideas that i want to do in fact i already have an idea for the next episode so stay tuned for that so i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you in the next one until then have a wonderful rest of your day and until next time goodbye